This is the BMW S55 engine. Uh, we are doing a lot of work to it. This engine is virtually brand new, just under 100 miles on it. Um, we are going to be installing camshafts, which we already did. Uh, these are performance camshafts from Shrek. Uh, but something to note, they arrived without the seals. There's like a ledge seals, they call them, inside of here. And these holes and stuff are designed to channel the oil um, to control the cam timing. Um, sorry about that and so remember if you buy them you have to make sure you buy factory original seals they're like a plastic seal you have to put them on before you install um, so we have timing disconnected also on this engine we are about to install uh, this very uh, popular crank hub issue that these cars have a tendency to the whole main crank hub comes loose throws timing and destroys the engine um, so we will show you some more elaboration on parts, but basically you have to remove the, the center bolt here, which is at like 400 pounds of torque. Uh, don't hold me to the exact number, but you have to remove that. And then of course you will see uh, a bunch of layers of pieces of hubs that go in there. Uh, of course, we'll remove the seal, uh, to access the oil pump. We'll have to remove, there's a plastic cover here that we remove and another plastic cover here. Uh, so we can remove the fuel pump uh, sprocket, which is driven, uh, and the oil pump. I think they run both all of them. They both run together. Um, at any rate, um, we will update you. We're also doing bearings on this, the engine, rod bearings. The other common issue with these, so the hub, uh, we're doing it to prevent a problem, and the bearings, we're doing it to prevent future problems, as they have been known to be weak. Uh, and the cams, we're just doing it for performance. But this is just a breakdown of what you need to do to, to do the hub. And we'll show you some more uh, as we get further. Third step, we hooked, we had the tool uh, attached earlier, the jig for drilling. And we drilled the four holes, as you can see now. Um, and so now, this, these, this is the this bucket that's made for this and that by the way this only goes on one way you could see it will only sink in this way you can't put it on backwards of course the you know, holes just don't line up okay so we know this is the sequence of the order that the things have to go back in on of course you got to do one at a time you got to attach this first it goes in it's a really tight fit they apparently recommend getting it lined up and then using the bolt to kind of press it in a little bit once this is in, you can hook up the first chain and then uh, you can attach the next chain, which is a secondary the oil pump chain and whatnot. But uh, that's basically it. So we use all these uh, dowels, these pins. Now we got the new holes in the crank and everything lines up beautifully. So you have to put the front one in, which we did, the inside one. That has to get pressed in. We obviously are going to have to put the uh, oil pump or yeah, oil pump and fuel pump chain on first because there's not much room to do it afterwards, of course. So the chain goes on, you can leave the oil pump gear to last. And now we'll be able to put the timing chain and the hub on and uh, put it, time it, put it back together.